Alright guys, welcome back to Factorio with Doc and yeah, I uh, did a little bit of a yeah change here. Remember here we were doing our green circuits and I was saying this is actually too small, we need to definitely upscale and yeah, that's what we're doing here. This is the whole setup we had, pretty much the same thing but upscaled a lot. So, yeah, but now I'm about to finish this, we need to bring iron in, change a few things and now we have space here to do something else, we'll see what we can fit in there, maybe something small to make us um, a bunch of, of these guys, so we have them here because we need them here. So this is the iron input coming in here. Then it's split up here, going around on this side and going through here and to this side. So this is for all the regular loaders. And of course, um, they we need to set them as well. So green, green circuits here in the middle. And shift right click and then shift left click, yes. Okay, let's mark all these. Whoop needs to be done okay and last but not least uh, those guys here uh, what did we do again copper wire exactly copper wire uh -huh. and then yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting better with things Okay, and all the way here. Missing some inserters here, I just see. So, what happens here? We're pushing this direction. Mm. So, yeah, just like that. Wait, what? Something is off here. No, nothing is off. I'm just an idiot. Okay, here we go. And they're not powered as well. So let's do this. Okay, this is looking good. Man, this is getting more and more crazy. I'm building more and more crazy machines. This is sick. Okay, and we have load balances in there because it's a long ways to go and stuff. Um, we're almost ready to hook it up. So this is the output line here need to do that one the output line goes into here and we definitely we want to have a double line coming out double line of circuits right there so this one needs to connect to here and this one we bring forward whoa okay and in the meantime yeah Keep on researching more shotgun shells. Later we have a, a look and, and check out what we researched. I mean, there's so much stuff. Okay, this is the output now. Probably we should have one load balancer here somewhere, just for the sake of it. You know, to balance things out a little bit. Iron is incoming. This is the copper belt, and we have that here. And I want to bring these belts forward and then have a nice splitter there. Um, two to four okay so this goes in bring that to here Whoop. And to there and then we have to dive so far it's not really spaghetti everything looks pretty clean what we got so far taking my time but I guess it's worth it I don't know what your play style is but I like to have things organized, that's for sure. Okay, so this is the input line. Um, you know, we don't have much, we need to get more. Yeah, definitely need to set up a small belt factory here also. And that would be nice. Belts, and maybe, you know, all that stuff like belts, uh, underground belts, and splitters or balancers. If we 
somehow figure that out. That would be nice. Okay. Now well, let's see. Mm, should have a few. Yeah. Nice. And uh, because this thing is not cutting it anymore. Especially because we are working up there and it was like constantly down here. So that's annoying. Okay. Other than that, the rest looks good. I mean, our conveyor belts are full. That is what you want to see, right? Full conveyor belts. <laughs> okay. There we are. So we wanted to bring that out. Okay. Conveyor belt, and then we go. And then we just. This is an input. So, yeah, we come in up here. Although we need to dive there. So, yeah. We probably want to go up here. Yeah. Give it a bit of space. Somewhere around here. Should be fine. This is where the double belt comes through. And then we connect it. Um, is that already? Oh, let me do it from here. Just to be sure. inner one and then <coughs> we can hook up the outer belt as well input we have one belt mixed up here I saw it don't worry let's go in this direction okay and then here comes in our copper now we're looking for a nice two to four splitter mm. Here. Um, let's see. Two, two, four. All right. Sweet. Hey, don't disturb me. No, we can't research that. Um, let's research better turrets, I guess. Okay. Guess this guy we put here. Yep, that should work. Okay, so it's just a bunch of splitters. And like that. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Thought maybe somebody came up with a super clever mega tiny, but that is probably as compact as you can do it. Okay. Uh, whoops. Like that. Okay, very nice. Then we can send in the copper. And hopefully you see the whole thing working. Okay, let's connect the iron here. Let's send that in first. Let's see if that works without any issues. And then we can slowly we can build towards the copper. I mean probably yeah, we wanna come around the corner here right away. So and then we go here. And then we go up. Yep there that's one and whoops that's two okay copper is going in iron is going in <coughs> Oh, we have a uh, wrong belt here, right there. Okay, the factory is coming to life. <coughs> and let's see if we get enough, enough in. Seems be a nice output stream, but we don't have all active and running. Yeah, what we want to do is definitely do some more load balances here. Although we're balancing it out right here in front. Whoa, mass production won some achievement. So the copper in stream here.
must be higher. How many? We're, we're, we're getting there. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We have, we have this not connected yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. That's of course an issue. Um, we need, we need iron plates. Snack some and craft some. Okay. E. Here's the other line that is coming out. We don't bring it over to here yet. So um, that means we wanna we wanna connect it to here. Send that in here somehow. Okay, okay, okay. We will get that done somehow. What? Okay, yeah, we fix that later. And then we dive through here. And then, yeah, I see it, I see it. Come this way. And then we just dive under here. All right. Like that. Oh god. Spooked me out. Flammables. Oh. Sounds like a flamethrower to me. Come here. Okay. This we connect. Okay, and then we could we could feed into there. How do we do that best? By having one of splitter guys here. And then we load balance it out somehow. So like this. Now we feed feed the stuff in there and then we need to fiddle with it a little bit more. Better overdo it than have problems later. Uh, that's my motto of that stuff, this lamp post here. Okay. Uh, can be here. Okay, okay. We're incoming. Man, this bus looks so epic. <coughs> yeah, we're kind of feeding into that. That belt probably is overloaded now. So what we want to do now is do something like that. Get a bit of more load balancing going on while inserting. Maybe beforehand even. I'm just gonna load ba balance the heck out of it for now. Yeah. Should be good. Here we push into this lane mostly. I mean, what we could also do to make it far more simpler, actually, if I look at it now, I mean, we could just do this, right? And then connect this line here directly. And then we got this line incoming, and then we connect this line here directly, and we're good. And then we put the load balancer afterwards, and we're, co we're golden. Yeah, sometimes, you know you might have a tendency to overcomplicate things if you're new to the game and have no routines and you need to figure out everything yourself and then in the end this might not be the best solution either but who cares now we have two streams of green circuits nicely feeding in here and what is the copper situation wait what what is happening here Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I was just confused. Here we balance everything out as well, everywhere. This looks good. The copper here at the moment looks good and we are using green circuits. 
So I think we're, we're definitely producing way more than we need. And at some point, maybe these copper lines will start to stall, but then we can still upgrade to better conveyor belts. But as of now, this looks pretty good. All right, so we are over here. And yeah, this is just where we hooked up our new green circuit production facility, which is pretty decently big, but eventually we need another one of these to keep feeding red circuits, uh, green circuits in. Um, but yeah, I need a lot of conveyor belts constantly and I want to set up a little, little factory here, a little factory, small one. So um, let's say back here, right? Um, let's first think, what does conveyor belts need? Conveyor belts need just iron plate and iron gear wheels. Okay. So, if you set up a thing here, that makes gear wheels, right? Let's see if we can figure something out. Gear wheels. And this thing here makes gear wheels too. Because we got the iron here. You know, you could snatch. Snatch here. Snatch from here. Why is it not set? Is it set to gear wheels? Alt. Yeah gear wheels okay and we just do the double slinger then we have a lot of gear wheels and we just output them we built here something you know it's not super fancy but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be useful for us gear wheels And we want to bring them back down, like so, actually. Hey, hello. Okay, and we dive under here and bring them out there. So we have gear wheels here on one side. That's nice. Let's power that up and see how it looks. I always go step by step. That's Never a bad idea while designing something, I guess. Okay, that's gear wheels on one side. Nice, 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 nice. Good, and we got them coming out here. And now, um, what we would like as well is, obviously now the conveyors. Conveyors are made just with iron plate, and gear wheel. Okay. So what we could do is we could leech off here a little bit and get some iron plates in here. That might technically work. And then we have a mixed belt here. And then we can make conveyor belts come out. Or yeah, I think I like this idea. Okay, that means we're gonna cap into here. Gonna put one of those guys there. And we're gonna leech a little bit of iron out of that line. Not much. Only so much fits in here. Okay, now we have a double conveyor here with both. Which means we could now come in and set up two conveyor belt factories here, right next to each other. Right? Although we have to move them up a little bit because of space issues. We want to try to be a kind of space efficient here, as good as possible. Okay. So oh, that's factory, I would say, and then, um, yeah, we just haul stuff in and maybe even up the number of haulers so we have a decent production speed. Uh, bring that down to here and then, you know, whoop, in, in. And those do conveyor belts. Conveyor belts. Okay. And we need power.
tower here. Boom. Now we're producing conveyor belts here. Galore. And um, now let's see what we need. We need the diving, the diving thingies. How do we do those? This is just conveyor belt and iron plate. Okay. Uh, yeah. We could easily do that. Let's let's do an output line for conveyor belts. Mm, this will be here. Yeah, we put conveyor belts on. Like so. And obviously those guys want power. Okay, nice. We have a nice output of conveyor belts. So now we just need another factory here. Like so. And they would have haulers here and there to get what they need and then we bring that further down. So I'm, I'm designing this on the fly if you haven't figured it out yet. There's no pre-planning with that. Maybe not the best design but it should do the trick. Okay, nice. So that is good. And last but not least um, we also want to, you know, grab some of that stuff out and sort it in a chest. So we're going to put that chest right here in the middle and we're going to hook that thing up to it. And whenever we have something produced, we're going to put it in here and we're going to say we're going to limit it to this. So we have a decent amount stored. Some power there and this is our diver thingies. And then lastly um, we need um, uh, what was it? Would be neat if we had three chests here and then we have all the stuff in there. Maybe we can get that going uh, or maybe have the chests further down. Okay. Lastly, what is the last thing that is the splitters and that needs green circuits iron plates and transport belts. Okay, and green circuits we have galore here. That's why I wanted to build that close by. So another factory. Let's see. I'm sure we can arrange it in a way that we have the chests here maybe or so. Let me just walk up. Okay, this is the thing. So um, what did we say? It needed... we wanted to do those guys, so iron plates and transport. Okay, so we should maybe merge that somehow. Definitely needs the iron plates here. So let's get them closer. Whoop. Here. And grab iron plates. I want to try something. Can we... What happens if I put a splitter here? I need to uh, you know, do some re... What the hell? I need to do some research. Ah, it also... Okay, it will mix it. Okay. Is there a way to only get the left side? Wasn't there a trick? I want to try this real quick. Wasn't it something like that? You could use one of those guys. And then you could only get the gear out. See? Didn't I see a tutorial about that somewhere? Ah, yeah, that would block. Okay, so... If we'd want to get the metal plates out only, we would have to do this. And what happens if we... If we do this, nothing. Okay. We would have to have this thing here. Okay, that's interesting. That's that's a cool trick, you know, uh, but I want to stop the gears here. I don't want any more gears. 
So what we simply do is this. Mm, we want to flow downwards. So we would need it like this, right? Yep. So we put that construction here. Then we grab this and we go this way and here, yeah, totally fine. And then we go down this way. We only filter the, ir the, the iron plates out, it's, you know, don't have an excess amount of, of wheels sitting there. I think that that's, that's cool to do. Okay. It could also be the export of it. If we pull it along here, let's see if we can, can work that out. <laughs> now, let's just pull it straight down. It's okay. It can go up to here. And then we do a, we do another loader. That can load that stuff in here. Cool. We have the plates. Now we just need those guys here. Mm -hmm. We bring them in like that. We need a place to ex extract those guys. So that needs to be done first. So this can definitely extract to here when we're done. So wait, what? Are we out of loaders? No. It would have surprised me. Yeah, this could this can go here. Then um we want that stuff here. So here and we need to lay out uh, something from here. Yeah, that works. That will be delivered to there. And lastly, we would need some of that stuff. So let's see if we can get that working. So the only thing that's missing here is pretty much the green circuits and the iron and uh, the plates. Okay, that's good stuff. So let's try to bring that closer by and then we think about how we get the green circuits in there. So this could go here and it would already work halfway. Put that there, we snag those guys in. Can even make it faster if we want to. And I think we want to. Can put that there. Can remove that. We can put that there. And then we snag even more. And we need a power pole here. So that is cool. And we can transport stuff down here. Okay, that is good. So now the only thing is, uh, the only thing we need to do is we need to get some green, green on there. And I can already see how we're gonna do that. That is, yeah, we want to leech from back there. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's leech from here. Mm, no, we can't really. Yeah, then we're going to leech from there. Gonna snag a little bit. It's not going to be much, but it's going to be a little bit. And then we're going to bring that over here. Probably we want to leave a gap here. And this way. And then we go under. And now we need to insert on this tape. Okay. On the right side. So we have a shared tape pretty much. We come up like this. Do this. And to insert, we need to get around pretty much. So this has to go. We lengthen this by one, and then we do this. Forward, no. Curve, straight, straight, curve. Oh, 
Okay, and then it does this. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, we just want we we want to we want to insert here. Okay, that's interesting. So you go down. Can I do this? It instantly connects, so it needs to overlap one more to be able, so we can do that. Okay, I get it. Now we can. Okay, nice. Yeah. That's okay. We don't need that many, just a few. Okay, neat. There is a lack of power here. I detect. Uh, yeah, let's put one there. Okay, that's happening. Nice. Nice. So now we want to get this stuff out and we will be able to do that. <laughs> nice, we squeezed this thing in here. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have two tapes rolling down. And one is going to be those guys. And we're going to get that with a longer red one. So we should pick that stuff up now and push towards the middle. Whoop. Yep. And then we just set up one of those guys here to put it into the chest. And then we can just walk by here. Whoop. And grab stuff. And last but not least, I mean, it's also terribly important, is those guys. And we're going to do this like that, as we need a bunch of those for the production as well. We're going to set it up in a way like this. And just going to snag a few from the line. But it has to be a filter thing, actually. Yeah, a filter inserter. And we got to tell him to, to grab the right stuff. Where is it? Here. So you put on there. And I tell you what. Whoop. Hey, stop. You, my friend, only pick up this guy's here. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. And then you put another fast loader here. Boom. Missing power. And we're missing lights. Wait, let's quickly make a bunch of those. There's always something to do in the factorio world. That is for sure. Uh, let's put a lamp down here. This thing is running. Maybe put a lamp back here. Yeah, I think that's bright enough. have one here but it doesn't have power ah we're good it's bright enough okay so this thing is the only thing that's missing power Ugh. Well, okay but there is no proper spot to get power to it that's a problem really this is our problem now oh hallelujah Well, this sucks, if this really is our problem. It's like, it's literally... Uh, is there no place where I can... On the diagonal? No, it's not reaching here. It's not reaching. This is insane. No! Really, or what? Are you kidding me? We need to limit those anyways. Let's say up to here or so. And uh, those we limit up to here as well. Oh man! <laughs> this sucks so bad. Where am I gonna put that power pole? God dang it. 
this is wow is there really no way i mean you know i could put it here just for the sake of it and then you know meander this line around it but it sucks it's such a nice straight line and space here don't want to mess with it oh man it really pisses me off right now such a nice compact craziness that's going on here hmm, there's no yeah our only option is literally here we have to do it my friends we have to do it we have to dive here just because of this light pole it's okay it's not the worst but yeah that means we have our factory here now look at that oh yeah that is beautiful and from now on we have conveyor belts galore there you we keep it up we're stealing some but that's part of the deal yeah I think it's it's definitely fascinating I mean this filter inserter is as quick as hell yeah but I think we're running fast enough looking good <laughs> oh, yeah. stealing quite some of the iron here <laughs> yeah so we, we take out here and send in there and I mean you know this will not run run all the time but you can see we're, we're crippling our iron back here a little bit not not super bad though yet I think no I think we're good and this also kind of keeps up which is nice to see good stuff alright guys now we have our little factory here right smack in the middle where we mostly work and build let's see what we figure out next time thanks for watching hope you like this little setup here I mean it does what it needs to do uh, on a small scale and we squeezed it in here and we can always keep it running and you know um, see later we gonna build a proper one for the red belts and stuff bye guys